Welcome to the Lighthouse project. Today, we will introduce a very powerful open source visualization framework, Langflow. Langflow is a no-code visual orchestration tool designed to integrate with Langchain, allowing users to easily build, visualize, and manage workflows and applications powered by language models. Langflow provides a graphical user interface that enables users to design complex language model applications without writing code. In Langflow, we can create the tasks we need in the form of workflows. This is the simplest chatbot workflow I created using Langflow. We can see that it is divided into three modules. The first is the user input. The second is the model we use. We use Llama 3.1 in Olama. The third module is to output the response information. We just need to click the playground in the lower right corner, then a chat interface will appear here. The bottom is the input box. We directly enter a content, then click send. Then the response information will be output here. This response information is the reply given by Lama 3.1 in Olama. And we can also directly enter the questions we need to ask in the input box of this workflow. After the input is completed, we directly click the triangle to run in this output module. We click playground and we can see the question we just asked. What is large language model? Here is the answer he told. We can also use Langflow to create a RAG system, so we don't need to write code to implement the local knowledge base through workflow. This is the knowledge base I created. The vector database I use here is Chrome DB. We click on the vector storage on the left to select various types of vector databases. It supports a lot of vector databases. Langflow also supports multiple agents. We click on the agent directly, which contains a variety of common AI agent frameworks, including the most common crew AI agent framework. Langflow enables users to create and configure workflows by dragging and dropping components like models, vector stores, inputs, and outputs. This is especially useful for building applications like chatbot, RAG, and agent. This video will show you how to deploy Langflow locally and how to create a RAG workflow with Langflow to build your own local knowledge base. It will also show you how to call the workflow we created through the interface. Because only by making the workflow we created into an API, it can be convenient for customers to use. First, let me explain the concept of Langflow, as well as the features and advantages of Langflow. Langflow is an open source visualization framework designed to build multi-agent and RAG applications. It provides an AI ecosystem without coding. It can seamlessly integrate various tools and technical stations. It is based on Python and is very flexible, and it supports a variety of large language models and vector storage. The main advantages of Langflow are as follows. It has an intuitive visual interface, allowing users to build complex AI workflows without writing code, making it easy for both users familiar with technology and those not familiar with technology to get started. It also has powerful integration capabilities and supports integration with many AI and data services, such as OpenAI, Hugging Face, Langchain, and other platforms. It supports multiple installation options and can be installed in local, Google Cloud, and VirtualBox environments, allowing users to choose the most suitable configuration. In addition, it also adopts a componentized structure where users can drag and drop various elements, such as model, prompts, and data sources to create the desired workflow. These components can be customized and connected in different ways to build more complex AI applications. Then it also supports asynchronous processing, allowing users to handle long running tasks more efficiently. Finally, Langflow is used in a variety of AI applications, including chatbots, document question and answer systems, or creating AI agents with complex functions. Its flexibility and ease of use make it the first choice for developers to quickly develop and deploy AI solutions. Next, let me explain how to install Langflow locally. First, we have to find the official website of Langflow, then click installation to enter this interface. Then scroll down here, we can directly install the Python library of Langflow locally. We can use this command directly, then enter this command directly in the terminal. Install it as a Python library. We have to wait a moment here. All these dependencies are installed. Now we can use this command to run the Langflow framework. After running, we will open this UI interface in the browser. After opening it for the first time, we need to set the API key first. We click on the store directly, click on the API key button in the upper right corner.
Then the API key input box will appear. Let's click on this link directly. Open this URL to generate our API key. After creating it, we can download and use the workflows in the Langflow store. We just need to click the plus sign of the corresponding workflow to install the workflow. Next, I will explain to you how to create your own workflow. We just click on my collection above and then click on new project in the upper right corner. There will be multiple templates for us to choose from. The first one is a blank workflow. The second one is a basic chat workflow. The third one is a chat workflow with memory function. The fourth one is a document question and answer system. The fifth one is a blog writing workflow. This next is a rag system that supports vector store. The following three are the workflows of AI agents. Here I will click on this blank workflow first and then show you how we can quickly build a chatbot. After clicking, it will go to this workspace. We can see there are a lot of components on the left to choose from. We want to build a chatbot with basic functions. It is very simple. First of all, this chatbot will be like a chat GPT. With input function, the content after input will be sent to the model. After being processed by the model, then these processed responses will be output. In this way, we can build a workflow this basic chat functions. First, we need to click on the input then drag the chat input component to the workspace. After dragging it here, we can see that there is a text input box. With the user input component, we need to send the user input to the model for processing. The next step is to select a model. Then we click on the model directly. Here you can see that there are many supported models, including these online models and these local models. Let's drag Olema directly into the workspace. We can see the name of the model here. We need to select a model that we have already installed in Olama. I will directly select a model of Llama 3.1 here. After selecting this model, we can see that there is an input here. That is, we need to enter content here. We need to use the chat input component we just dragged over to input. We connect this line with this input here. The user input is connected to this model to implement the user input and then sent to this model for processing. The content after model processing needs to be output, so we need to add another component for displaying output. Let's look at the components on the left and click outputs. You can see the chat output here, drag and drop it to the workspace with the mouse. We need to connect the processed output content with the text of the chat output. In this way, the workflow is complete. Then we can run the entire workflow. We just click on the playground in the lower right corner. Then the dialog window will pop up. Here we can say hi. The following is the response given by the model in Olama. If we want to implement a complex RAG system, it is not difficult. First, let me briefly introduce RAG. RAG is a technology that enhances the response of a large language model by retrieving source information from an external data store to enhance the generated response. This means that we can use our own knowledge base to let the large language model answer more specific content. To implement RAG and Langflow, we still click the new project in the upper right corner, then click Blank Flow to enter our workspace. We first create a vector database to store the knowledge we need to let LLM know. We first select data on the left. We want to upload a local file, so select file and drag it into the workspace. According to the principle of RAG, we need to divide the larger text content into multiple smaller chunks so that we can retrieve and generate information more finely. Each chunk usually represents a shorter semantic unit, such as a sentence or a paragraph. Therefore, we need to find the split text in the helper on the left. In addition, we also need to use an embedding model to convert each text block into a vector representation. These vectors capture the semantic information of the text block. Here we choose to use the embedding model in Olama to embed our text information into a vector database. Finally, we store the generated vectors in a vector database. This allows us to quickly find the most relevant text blocks in the query during subsequent retrieval. Here we choose ChromaDB as our vector database. We connect the lines and then the whole work of storing our data in the vector database is completed. Okay, the next step is to build our chatbot. First, we need to embed our question into our vector database for retrieval to find some chunks related to our question. We click inputs to find the chat input to our workspace. Then we duplicate the embedding model of Olama that we used before. Drag it here. 
we will also duplicate the vector database and drag it here. Then we connect them together and our question can find the relevant chunks in the vector database. Then we need to parse the chunks found in the vector database. Parse it back into text. Here we need to find parse data in helper, drag it to the workspace and then connect it with the vector database. Next, we need to set up a prompt to pass our question and the found content back to the large language model. We select prompts on the left, select prompt and drag it to our workspace. Click the prompt box to edit the prompt. Then enter the prompt we need. Pass in both content and question. The prompt here can be changed according to your own preferences. The next step is to select the large language model to answer our prompt. We select the model on the left and then select the Olama model. We still choose our Llama 3.1 model here. It is not mandatory here. You can still choose your favorite model, such as using the open AI model for processing. Finally, we still need to select an output to return to us. We choose chat output and then connect the large language model to it. This is the whole RAG process. It only took us a few minutes to build our own RAG. Next, we can test the capabilities of our generated RAG. We can upload local documents. I uploaded a document about the introduction of the Lighthouse project here. Then back to our workspace, we can click the small triangle of vector database to run this part of the workflow. After running, we can directly click on the playground to display our chat interface. Here we ask it, which two topics included in our Lighthouse project 3? Wait a moment. We can see that it tells us the answers we want. One is LLMs and the other is Sustainable AI. We can also call these workflows through API. In this way, we can integrate the knowledge base or chatbot we created into other applications through API. We will use the RAG workflow we just created as a demonstration and then implement an API interface. There is an API option at the bottom right of this workflow. We click directly. After clicking, the API command will appear here. We can test the chat widget HTML API. We create an HTML document and paste the code into it. Then right click on our HTML and choose to open it in the terminal. We enter this command in the terminal to run HTML locally. We enter this address and select our HTML file. By clicking on this dialog box, we can chat with the rag we just built. We ask it the same question and see its answer. Its answer is exactly what we want. Well, this video ends here. If you like it, please join us for Lighthouse Project Season 3, focusing on large language models to learn more and start your journey towards a smarter, more efficient and competitive business. Please also remember to click the like and subscribe to support us.